Hello everyone, today we are talking about clusters and how to use them in trade. I'm sure most of you guys heard about clusters but how to use this instrument properly. Let's make it clear. Clusters show us the amount of orders executed by each price within 5 minutes. 5 minutes is set by default being most recommended time frame. You can set your own time frame. For example, switching to 1 minute time frame shows you the amount of orders as executed at different prices within a minute. But 5 minutes is more preferable for scalping. Each column reflects the time frame unit. Switching to 5 minutes means that each column lasts 5 minutes. Green clusters show you buyer's volume. Red clusters show you selling volume. White frames point out the highest volume detected within 5 minutes. It could be green or red. This is a very important thing. We called it point of control. We can treat such uh, points of control as a strong level of resistance or support levels. This is a good additional factor for entrance when we are using pullback strategy. Such points of control mean that huge amounts of orders were executed around such prices. That's why this zone forms a strong level. Sometimes we could see patterns that formed by clusters. We can use them to enter the market and close positions in time. There are three core patterns. The accumulation of clusters here creates the upward pressure. The clusters form a support zone pushing price higher and higher. Or it could slow down the downtrend price movement as a strong resistance. The accumulation of clusters in the middle of the order book. It means that the price could be blocked inside this range. We do not recommend entering the market with this pattern. The last pattern is the opposite to the first one. The accumulation of filled clusters there creates the resistance zone, slowing down the price we are making pullback from this zone. Using such clusters patterns, we can improve the quality of our trading. Let's look at some practical examples. We see the huge amount of limit orders there and reliable point of control there as additional argument for a loan. Here we see the retest zone. The limit orders here create some resistance. The resistance we also see there in clusters. However, we managed to make some profit with such short movement. This is how it looks in uh, Trader's Diary from Cscalp. Short and easy trade, plus $9 profit. The next example demonstrates the third pattern. I entered shares using POC as a resistance zone. There is a pullback strategy in action, but instead of huge amounts of limit orders, we use clusters. As you see, the price can't break the resistance zone. I have decided to remove stop loss closer as this level is strong enough. Finally, the price is going down from the resistance zone. Here we see the resistance of the first sign to close positions.
the price fails to break this level and going back. I decided to close position partially. The resistance is becoming stronger. This is how it works. Thank you for your attention. This video was prepared for the CISCAP trading terminal team.